Hello everyone and welcome to the third part of our dynamic cloth tutorial series. In this episode we're going to look at working with layered clothing. We're going to combine our top from the last episode with skirt. Download links are included in the description. The skirt is also a simple untextured mesh that has been UV mapped if you wish to texture it yourself. Just like we did in the last episode, you can follow along using the clothing meshes we have included for Pauline instead. So let's start from scratch and load our figure. We will create an animation, like the one we did in the last episode. Let's use a different pose this time. Choose a pose for Victoria 4 and load it onto the last frame of your animation. Again, make sure that Victoria's limbs stay clear of her body during the entire animation. Before we load our clothing, let's make sure we have stopped the animation and are on frame 1. Let's start with the skirt. When we are draping cloth objects on top of each other, it makes sense to start with the one that is going to be underneath. Now we can switch over to the cloth room. And then we can repeat the usual steps. New simulation. Let's name it skirt. Cloth self collision. Clothify. Choose our figure as the collision object. And collision settings. Our starting point for collision offset and collision depth has been 0.200. We can lower this to 0.150 for the skirt because it's going to be underneath the top and we want to reduce bulk as much as possible. Leave the dynamic settings at default again and calculate the simulation. Now we have simulated the skirt. So how do we simulate the top over the skirt? It is actually pretty easy. We can just repeat the steps we did for the skirt, keeping in mind that we need to include the skirt as well as the figure in our collision objects. So let's go back to frame 1 again and switch back to our library view. Now we can load the top. and go back to the cloth room. Now we can give the top its own unique simulation. Let's name it top. Cloth self collision. Clothify. Now we get to the step where there's a difference. You will need to pick both Victoria 4 and the skirt for collision objects. As you can see, each collision object gets their own unique collision settings. This can come in handy in some situations. For instance, we can give the top a lower collision setting against the skirt to further control bulk. Just dial it up a bit again if you start seeing poke through. Let's set the collision offset and collision depth against the skirt to 0.150. And the collision against Victoria to 0.200. Leave the dynamic settings at default again and calculate the simulation. And now we have our first layered simulation. That's it for this time. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to look out for the next part in the series, which will be our first troubleshooting episode. Happy rendering all and see you soon again.